Welcome to part number 20 of Gran Turismo 1. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're gonna do the GT Cup. So we're buying a new car for this, and I'm gonna buy the Dodge Viper RT10. Because we're gonna use the GTS in arcade mode, so yeah. We're gonna use this version instead. I don't really like the blue with white stripes on this car in particular. I like the red more. So let's go with that. So, let's go and do the GT Cup. Alright, so who are we fighting against? We've got a Griffith, a Viper GTS, an NSX, a Super, and a GTO. This is a stout field. This should be a fun championship. So round number one, Grand Valley Speedway, full. Okay, the RT-10 has a different engine sound. I mean, I was kind of expecting that, but... I don't know, I've never driven the RT-10 in this game. I've always gone with the GTS. Whoa, what happened there? Why did the NSX and the GTO just slow down so much? And of course, the Viper takes the lead. That car is going to be the star of the field. We capitalize on three mistakes. We probably get whoa the Griffith. That could have been a lot worse. Chase down the Viper. Well, the super first. Okay, now we're up to second. Now it's a Dodge 1 2 and time to reel in the other Viper. Here we go. The Griffith could be third, but it's making too many mistakes on this track. Oh, speaking of mistakes, we make the same mistake. Oh, there he is. Speaking of the devil. We're just gonna keep going. GTO going wide. Looks like it. Yeah, it's him. Alright, well, I just noticed we have three laps instead of two. Do we have a shot? Maybe we can have a decent points finish. Okay, we're up to fifth. Damn. 
man, that detail is coming hot. Okay, we didn't go into the gravel trap this time. That's good. Being focused here, trying to get to the to the podium at least. Minimize all the damage we did in turn one. Oh my god, I just can't get any closer to these guys. We only had one more lap, we could have probably gotten second. Oh well, we gotta settle for third. That's okay. Third's still not that bad. Pretty clear who's going to be the biggest championship threat. And on to round two. Round two, Deep Forest. And now that I'm a bit familiar with the car, let's get to work. Okay, the Griffith has a really good launch this time. So does the NSX. The Viper's getting shuffled to fourth. That's a surprise, but he's gonna come back strong. Yep, he's gonna get third. Okay, up to fourth. The Viper is still in third, which is honestly a shock in my opinion. I thought he'd be in first by now. And look who's leading, the Griffith. <laughs> That's crazy. He's having such a horrible race last time, and now look at him. Come on, get out. Like, I just can't reach him. Maybe the NSX and the Griffith are more suited to Deep Forest. Okay, we're getting a run. Viper versus Viper. Final lap.
up to third. And the Viper's in the grass. Wow, this is going to shake up the points big time. On the inside of the NSX. Job well done. Up to second. We might not be able to win this race, but you know what? This is going to be a huge points day for us. And that Griffith is going to get a huge boatload of points as well. Considering the fact that, what, he finished 5th, I think? In round 1? Wait, we might have a shot at the win. Maybe. Nope, not enough. Alright, well, we're going to have to settle for second, but... Here we are, we made it. So, Viper GTS wins the first race, Griffith 500 wins the second race. Wow, that is a close battle for the championship. Two points separate the top four. This is gonna be good. Move on to the next session. All right, round number three, special stage route five, and we're green. Now I expect the Viper to be good here because it launched right away, unlike the fours, which is more of a technical circuit. Three wide for the lead. No, for a second. So we need to take some more points away from the top two. I'm getting the hang of this car. It's definitely much harder to handle in my opinion than the GTS. That car is a little bit more refined, this one not so much. How did we get stuck to the wall? So we can save the break early, set ourselves up for the S's. Ah, damn it. It's okay, we have two more laps to go. What happened? I didn't know there was like a wall there like like a gap I was just trying to defend like I was trying to block him, but I didn't mean to take him out That's gonna be a huge championship impl implication right there And worked a second I think we're finally gonna win a race today. Well, not today, but in this segment. Set him up for the S's. Yep, got a better run. Went according to plan, and finally we lead a lap. Well, not not just yet. Not quite. <laughs> nope, we haven't officially led a lap yet. for turn one. Man, this is going to be a good fight for the finish.
Okay, we're good. Viper is lurking in the background. But the Griffin is what I'm worried about. Oh, he tried going for a pass. Oh, wow. He tried going for an overtake and smacked the wall really hard. Now, what's that going to do to the point situation? Because I don't know where he's at right now. The Viper is right behind me. So we're going to get a Viper 1-2. I'm finally going to win the race in this championship. And I have no idea what the points are going to be like. Wow, he finished 4th. The NSX 5th. We're leading by 1 point. Leading by 4 over the Griffith. Leading by 7 over the NSX. So it's still a 4 wide championship. Anything can happen in this last race. Let me save the replay for this particular race first. And move on to the final race of the championship. Trial Mountain, the place for the final champ the final championship round. So our main rival is the Viper for sure. But at the same time, we can't let our guard down with the grip hits in the NSX. Because they could any I'm about to say anything could happen and that just happened. The super just slowing down tremendously. Griffith in the lead, no surprise there. I was gonna say this track will probably be best suited for this for the Griffith. So he basically needs to finish first, and we need to finish about fourth or worse, I believe, in order to lose the championship to the TPR. Okay, we're doing good so far. Oh, didn't mean to catch the cane. Nice outside pass. I didn't think we were going to leave this race, to be honest. So far, so good. Yeah, we're going to win the championship. But we really came alive these last two races, honestly. The first two were kind of tough with the opposition and what they had in store. I always love jumping the air. Pushing that chicane. Oh, man, man, man. Focus, focus there. Don't want to throw it away on the final lap. But yeah, that Griffith needs five points. He needs to score more than five points than to win the championship. And even if we lose the race, if we finish second. He's only going to gain three points, so we still win the championship by a point. We're good. 
I literally have nothing to worry about at this point. Out of the final quarter, we win the race and the championship. Hoorah! Damn, win by over nine points because the Viper and the Griffith, they're tied. Not nine points, seven points, I, I can't count. <laughs> That's still a lot of points. That's a pretty big gap. Almost an entire race victory. But at least, hey, Viper won two. And let's see what we win. Not a bad amount of money. Series championship and new car. And the car that we win is... Ooh, it's a race car. Oh, that is gorgeous. The Chaser LM edition. That is such a nice car. Wow. Okay, we're definitely using that at some point in the game. I mean, there's a couple of championships that use race cars anyway, so we'll, we'll figure something out. Alright, so that takes care of the GT Cup. We're not doing the World Cup in this, in this game. Well, we are, but that's going to be the finale, so we're not doing that next. What we're going to do next is... I really don't know. It'll be a surprise, I think.